nothing like real-world expertise. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? <laughs> What's going on? I... I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Is that a cat? What is it? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. This has to be a mistake. Let's go find out. All squares are closed. Please, Christine. If you're in a hurry, please use a guide move. We need to get the Coliseum right away. We strongly encourage you to make use of the guide moogles. We've arrived at your destination. I'm sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. No. Uh, excuse me. Please go clearance. Let them through. Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. 
found a place to I need you to step back, please. Can we report back to the director once you've taken witness statements. It's like I told you, someone went on a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen. With an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. <sighs> Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like.
the place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mugging, maiming, murdering. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, man. hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? <laughs> I got him under ass. lock and key, out in the middle of the dunes. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find so him. Generous. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. Uh. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on Gil. So much so goddamn much God Gil! Damn Gil! <sighs> so yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you. But I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'ma hold on to your piggies. Right, 
Help. Help us out, pal. Oh, hey, show up, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of him. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds <laughs> I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Trick. Ah, uh ah, -uh. that's Gus to oh. you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Ooh, uh, yeah. See you later. All right, Mr. Merc. Let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> Well, this is a fine state of affairs. You will get us out of here. Thing for Won't you cloud? Keeps them as pets. They're trained to leave people lost in the desert. That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. Go on. See how far you get. One false move, we'll be all over. Yo! Brought your new champ! Hmm. He's all yours! So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. <sighs> Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. We all can eat veggies. It ain't fair. Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Oh yeah, try that QB collector who's been hanging out down here. I heard he's got some produce. Good luck out there, cutie pie. Listen up, back! Watch your manners inside the mansion! There's something below there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a common effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travel.
Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to it in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them. Leave the green hunting to you. We don't want to get in the way. Compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright. Pico's been feeling peckish. It's a start, but nowhere near enough.
Having trouble finding that feed for pe- Hmm... I did see one of those scam artists look good. Look out there, cutie pie. How come y'all get to eat veggies? It ain't fair. Mr. Gus presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only, if you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try.
Great job out there. Come back if you want a challenge. Let off some steam today. Wonder if it's any better for him than a standard brush down. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. Wrestled up some quality. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. How come y'all get to eat veggies? It ain't fair. Don't let me catch you wandering. Listen up, assholes! The living no need to say a word. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for chocobo greens, am I right? Well, I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. My casino happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queen's Blood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. So, think you're up to the task? I'll handle it. Much obliged. Outlandish though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scaring away my clientele. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy. How are your QB games going? Handsome. I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh. You big party pooper. Fine. Be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no. Don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So... Either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice.
Well, shit. You got me good, hot stuff. Should've had more to drink. I have a confession to make. You see, my dear, even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauce to the max. So watch out, boyo. What? Huh? May I help you? I'm in the middle of a performance. Are you here to play Queen's Blood? That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life. You completely demolished me. Well played, good sir. But my performance wasn't half bad. 
Wouldn't you agree? Someday, I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand staple of performers. That's why I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention, so maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. Wait! What's up? What do you want? Oh, shit! I did it again! I'm sorry, old habits. No harm meant. Please don't go. I'm begging you. I only want to play a game of Queen's Blood. I promise, that's all. I have a hard time talking to people and, well, I know I'm not the friendliest looking guy, so I can't convince anyone to go around. Anyway, uh, the name's Dax. You, uh, want to play with me? Pretty please? <laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined! I've been missing out. Prison ain't a great place to look at art you know? So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. It kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the judgy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. 
So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play, instead of waiting for them to come to me. And there's the man of the hour. Thanks to your efforts, demand for Queen's blood is back and stronger than ever. It's at an all-time high, which means my profits should be too. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. You won't want to miss out. People lose interest when they start thinking, by the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs, unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the trap and beat us the race. Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Having trouble yeah, finding that I feed for Pico? Good. Let me think. What about... Oh, that stalker gang. Bet they got something. Might have to beat it out of them, though. Good luck out there, cutie pie. How come you so, you ready or what? About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. How come y'all? It's hard to believe this is the same fair. Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Jokobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave high when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, 
You win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. You ready to make your debut in the racing world? Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go? I survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Colosseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Get eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously? I'm getting heat stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner.
Kiddo, I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <laughs> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. There's no way Barrett shot those people, right? Are there any other gun-armed dudes who might have gone on a killing spree? We know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Chewing on sand for weeks. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. They did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. <sighs> I 
I know the man who murdered all those people. Dying. My best friend. It was four years ago. The Corral Reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God. No. Bad! Dine! It's the mayor. It's Sinra. They just showed up and started chewing. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on. Hey! Please. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. <laughs> Still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Damn it. Do I have to do everything? Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities. So Merlene's... I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. I saw him at the saucer. Saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay. What are we waiting for?
No time like the present. Here. We're sure. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to do this alone. Barrett. Go. Bless your heart, dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Hell, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's gill no man it ain't like that <laughs> <laughs> you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit.
Come on out! Ain't no way. Burn you, bad habit, son of a bitch! 
No, Dan. It's over. Over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! <sighs> then end it. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me, huh? I thought you wanted to help your own buddy! <laughs> what? No wise words? Coward! When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it'd change our lives. It changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh. Just turn four. She's in Midgar. Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. <laughs> she nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, She's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. We could go see Marlene right now. Look at me, Barrett. 
You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Here, I thought that Gus guy was just yanking our chain. Same. That said, is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Were you going to stop him? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man. That'll do. 
to. Take the lead. Let me handle this. There's no escape. Okay. Now's our chance. Too. It's your turn now. Gotcha. Oh, for you. Yeah. Here he comes. You worthless hunk of junk. Junction override confirmed. Initiating a urine optimization protocol. Oh dear. On you. All set. Take that. Copy. Perfect. Luck. Pushing it. I'm coming. Tagging out. <laughs> Never again. Don't overdo it. We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now! Fear not, friends! Your chariot awaits! Dio? <laughs> I've been using this to eavesdrop. Can never be too careful. But you're innocent. 
And I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. You will receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me it matters not. Hmm. You are always welcome, my friend. Okay, does anyone know how to drive this thing? Leave it to me, lass! here for you. <laughs> to help take the load off, huh? I mean it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think you might. Come on. Looks like this is goodbye, old buddy. your chance. Leave this riffraff to me. Time to get the blood pumping. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh.
just fine. I'd like to think Dine would have been proud. Yeah, I think he would. That ought to do it. If you don't mind my saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. Sir, what is the status of the ancient? We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. I see. Is she a higher priority than the materia? Hmm. <laughs> Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine, to see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. It's a dream of mine. How cute. Who are you, really? Oh, come on. You know me. And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child. Aren't you? A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. And under that bratish exterior... Loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you. To give the world a shot in the arm. But what do you truly want?
Let's start this manhunt. Know this guy? Never seen him. I have so much to be grateful for. Hey, let's get. We've got free days to folks. Does this guy look familiar to you? Nope, sorry. Isn't that just perfect? Hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Afraid not. Why don't we all go? Let's <laughs> get some juice out of it. Shit! Think that's Avalanche? Could be. We've got free Gotta check it out. That's gotta be Avalanche. That's the spirit. I don't think. Can't we have them? Is that? <laughs> There's our man. Feeling any better? Ugh, leave me. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads, and driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading... You should get yourself a reading! Ooh! Meow, 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 meow! Meow, 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 meow!
Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um, mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait, Barrett. You mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor. Did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car! Let's go, go, go! <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. My, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? <laughs> All right. Float it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can say Mako. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure, uh, that's... Uh-huh. Cloud, you okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. How much he spends on those fancy suits. Oh, why did I even ask?
been ratting on us to Shinra. Telling him where we are, you furry fraud. Guilty! I knew this cat had two faces. Ah, come on now. I'm only feeling your leg. Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed the bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Knew him well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Pretty sure. Hi. Might wanna check. Cloud, that forest chocobos use mushrooms as springboards? Come along! The village of Dongaga awaits! It's about time! We're freaking starving! <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. Mushrooms. They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here, here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Passing through. You. What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Who are you people? I. You'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no. Just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Cisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am! Ma 
You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course! <laughs> Come on. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. Thank you. So what is this? Three years ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. Huh. This was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy. So feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Seriously. Get some rest, okay? Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? One's on the left. Anyone with eyes can see that. So, you've a death wish. I must say, that's troubling to learn. A word of advice, Cloud. Do not, under any circumstances, consume wild mushrooms. Thanks. I'll, I'll try not to. Today, I'm going to teach you about an important part of our history. See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? I'm gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, why does that not surprise me? I remember mom saying how Claudio's was the best she'd ever had. If you tell me what it was like, I could try and make it for you. Those fiends we spotted around the old children of the <laughs> Finally. Oh, Cloud. Friend of yours? Come in. Please. Hmm? 
You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach? <sighs> Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zack. Zack Fair. Zack? Sorry. No. <sighs> Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him and to please get in touch? Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> Here. Hey. That wasn't very nice of me. You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's... a lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. Sure they did. But thanks. So, the Zack guy. You still like him? <laughs> wow. You went there, huh? Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. Any news? Nothing. No calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is.
another time. Animals have been acting strange recently. So, so bored, bored right out of my brain. I'd love an encore, if that's cool. An encore? Normally I charge an orb per song, but I'll make a special exception this time. Here goes. I am so... So bored, bored right out of my brain. Something's up with the reactor. Visitors? <laughs> Pleasant surprise. The hell? You... Hey, you hear that? Yeah, gotta be a weapon. Wait, do you know something about this? Could say that, yeah. You've been hearing it for a while? For a few days now, yeah. The Coalition tried to investigate, but... some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor. Though all they did was fly around, just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough. More than enough. No, ain't that something. You could see them? Yeah, of course. Why? Do you know what they are? <sighs> Whispers. <laughs> well, this just got more interesting. So, when do we leave? You, young lady, are on guard duty. No, come on! I just want to help out! Be a part of the team! Yeah, because you've been a real team player. <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. I'll do my best. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. Figure you, me, Kate, and Red can do that easy. Agreed? Agreed. Let's go. You guys hold down the fort. Head straight south. The guard knows you're coming. Mm -hmm. Ooh, finally. Glad you're here. Plenty of mushrooms in their feet. Remember, no feeding the wildlife. I 
Wonder if I can trade some fresh produce for a few of these toys. Oh, oh hello. Welcome. Uh, must have dreamed that customer up. The captain filled me in. You can head on through. As if weapons weren't enough. Now the whispers are back. Come again? What's a whisper when it's at home? An arbiter of fate. They appear when destiny is about to be altered. Ensure it maintains its intended course. I thought we already changed it, though. We did, once. But perhaps now they preside over a new fate. Ours. But that's what you get for being curious. Came back swinging. That's the Michael Rich land. What's good for life is great for reactors. See your way in. Whispers. 
though not as we know them. How you figure? Come. It's time. Let's follow him. Come on. We must be close by now. How much longer? We expect to arrive within the hour. <laughs> then I'd better choose a suitable toy. Will that be necessary, ma'am? Of course it will. I'll make sure that it is. <laughs> 